What is happiness? I invite you to inspect with me about the happy state of a person. So I take two different approach, the Western way and the Eastern way. For the Western way, happy, it actually comes from the word hap. It means lucky, fortune. So you can see that it's a little bit based on the external factor. Meanwhile, from the east side, we use the language Sanskrit here because it, that is one of the oldest language in the world and it came from India. Happy in Sanskrit is Sukhi. It means without sorrow. Another word is Ananda. It means blissful. A person who is blissful is a happy person. So from the east side, we can see that it more on the internal factor of a person that create a state that he feel happy. So let's take these two approach again and dig in it. It's happiness is due to the external causes and due to external possession. If happiness is because of all of our possessions, you have a house, you have a job, you have money, a lot of money. Does it so? If it's so, all the richest man in the world is also happiest man in the world. Does it so? Not quite. It also means that happiness is proportionally to your possession. So if the possession increase, your happiness level increase. And when you have nothing, your happiness goes to nil. Does it so? Not quite. As I understand, many people without possessions still in a happy mood. Many monks, Zen monk, meditation monk, they are happy. So it's clearer the happiness is absolutely have nothing to do with your possession. From the eastern side, one is happy when he is blissful, when he has no sorrow. Have you ever think of this? When you're in deep sleep, you are happy. Your body rests. You are detached from all the possessions. And you are happy. The deep sleep state here that I mean is when you don't dream. You're totally in a deep state of consciousness that you feel happy. So it's clearer that happiness is all because of the inner factor not because of the external factor. I think that the word happy are used in many occasions for other words, for the word lucky, for the word fortunate. They are overused. But the core sense of happiness sometimes has nothing to do with the word happy that we use in daily activities. Let's go back to the western size again. There is a theory that they think happiness has three categories. The first one, they call it rockin' happy. It's the feeling when you satisfy some of the desire, like food, sex. After you have a good meal, you feel happy. After you have a good sex, you feel happy. But this type of happiness is go up fast and go down fast. It's like a mountain. You go to the peak, and right away, you dip into the valley. So this type of happiness is like instant noodle. Fast, then you feel bad about it after. Or you feel okay, but that feeling of happiness go down, back to normal state very fast. The second type of happiness, it is a feeling when you do something that you are not aware of the time anymore. You are into it totally into it. Like your hobby, you like reading, you're reading your favorite books. Or you like lie down in the sand under the coconut tree by the sea in the sunshine and you just rest there. You feel great about it. This category of happiness lasts longer. The third type of happiness comes from your lifelong passion. You like to create a company, you do it your whole life. That sometimes you have to wake up all night for it. Sometimes make you sick. 
sometimes you lost, but at the end of the day, you feel happy. This is a type of happiness that the West say we should seek for. We should have a purpose of life that you bring all this essence of you and put into it. Here I just present the Western theory of the happiness. I think it's true partially, but in the core sense, I think the happy mode means happy for no reason. That means whatever thing happening outside is independent from the happy state. The truly happiness come from your inner being. This happiness is when you have nothing and you still feel happy. Maybe it is similar to the word contented rather than lucky or fortunate. Again, I would like to emphasize that the word or the language are the tools for humans to communicate. They put a tag on a certain thing, but it is very difficult to put the word for the invisible things like happiness. So please experience yourself. Go inspect more about your own true feeling of what thing make you feel happy. Maybe you just list down all the things that make you feel happy and then really look into it. When did you feel happy? Sometimes it's easier to be happy than you think. At this moment, at this very right moment, you are in happy mode. You can do it. Just detach from anything that happened around you. What I mean is in your thinking. Don't think about this stuff. Aware. Aware of your own being. Aware of your body. Aware of what you are thinking. Aware of what is just in front of your eye. Look at them. Or you can close your eye. It's all the same everywhere. Even if in the crowd, if you close your eye and you can ignore all the noise, all the sound around you, you still can be happy. When you are alone, without talking to anybody, you can feel happy. So if you are capable of being alone and feel blissful, you can do anything. You can go everywhere and still you feel happy in any circumstances, regardless of external factor you still can feel happy. Go for this type of happiness. Don't chase the happiness that created from the external factor. Don't chase for money. Chase for the thing that make you happy. Everything have its pros and cons. I know that if you chase external factor, there are great trophy for you, waiting for you. It's very appealing, but experience yourself. Once you have it, you're not happy anymore. You're dreaming of the, the job you love after you have it. Maybe you will be suffering from it. You dream of buying a house right after, after buying the house. You're back to normal state and then the loan will chase you. That is not happy. Happiness at the very present moment are much more worthy than anything else. Thank you for listening. See you other day.